That's it. Today we'll be reviewing Bam! It is the Roland SBD SX, which just arrived today. And I have, oops, over that. And uh, I just want to show you guys uh, how it all works, um, how easy it is to load samples on. It's just wow, it's just so easy. Uh, it's got some software, which is probably the easiest software I've ever used. And I'll be putting that on the PC today and just show you plugged in how it all works. So I've plugged it in around the back with a sort of a printer USB cable. And so I'm going to put this in here. I've already installed the Wave Manager on there, so uh, it's just really to show you. Uh, nope. Nope. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, computer is connected. So, all this malarkey comes off of my computer because it's old. This is an old HP laptop. It's running Windows 7, and I sort of unearthed it from... Um, the rubble it came from, so I used this years and years ago, and I've just sort of uh, used it as a secondary computer now because my other laptop screen's broken. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, okay, so that's there. So it's plugged in now. When you get the CD, you have to like install the drivers and stuff, but it's it's really easy. It just takes two seconds to do that. Um, and then once it's installed, you install the Wave Manager I was talking about. So let's just actually get the screen up here. Oops. Ah, uh, there it is. Nope, that's there, Wave Manager. So it's that little dicky who there. Well, however that expression goes. Uh, select storage, obviously it's plugged in, and uh, this little thing will be different depending on, you know, your computer configuration. So you press OK, and it loads up, it just does its whatever it needs to do. It didn't take that long. There we go. And uh, it's here, look, so this represents obviously the pad, and all you literally do is just drag and drop into there. So I've already got one on there, I'll just clear that just for example's sake. So I've already got some on here already, but I'll just start it as new. So what you do to add a sample, you just go on new file here, and it comes up with this, and you click add. Like I said, you click add, oh, there we go. Um, now I've got in my music folder, I've already like, downloaded some sort of samples or made my own samples and they have to be WAV I believe I read or .AIF for Apple I think. Um, now I've got a couple of loops so for example I did Don't Stop Till You Get Enough there was um, a little loop on the end of that that I added so let's just put that on there and you can whoa I don't know what that was all about uh, let's try that again there we go so I made this kind of little loop, I just ripped it off like a 70s groove CD, and um, so that's alright, sounds good. Uh, usually put it max volume though, because sometimes um, if you put it on, if you put it on like a, a lower volume setting, it just doesn't sound very loud on the pad, and the pad's sort of default uh, volume is already 100, so... Uh, it's best to put it on the maximum volume you can on the computer when you mix it down or whatever you need to do before you put it on. Import. And it does its whatever it needs to do. Okay, and it's um, it's appeared at the bottom here. So all you literally do, so I want it on this pad here. And this is kit number 17, which I you can name it yourself. I've named it random. Uh, and you literally just drag and drop it right there. Now sub is if you want two sounds at the same time, so for example if I want a big like a boom sub bass with the intro of the loop I can just put that in sub and it'll play at the same time when I hit the pad. And that is literally it. And all I do now is press exit, quit, yes, disconnect SPD, so I just disconnect it from here, and that's it. And literally this just goes back to its normal thing. So it's actually on there. I mean, you can't hear it now. I'll uh, I'll show you. Um, I'm going tomorrow to test this out uh, in a town here in the UK called Gainsborough. They have something called the X Church, which is like a abandoned church which has been like a converted into some like a like an art centre, and they have like some kits there and stuff. So I'm going to test that out there for the first time, and I'll show you then. So I shall uh, cut to that. So at the X Church today in the uh, the Drum Dome. A bit of a drum session. I'm testing out my SPD, Jason guitar and drums as well. Mm -hmm. 
So I've put some samples on and uh, tried them out last night. So we've got the following. Now you to turn it off, I can change it on the settings to change, turn that on and off, or I can keep it as a loop, so. And I've got some assorted random ones. Mr. Doublelina, Mr. Bob Doublelina. Mr. Doublelina, Mr. Bob Doublelina. Mr. Mr. Doublelina, Mr. Bob Doublelina. Mr. Doublelina, Mr. Bob Doublelina. And of course, you know, the most important one. <laughs> Don't think I'll be using them too much on a gig, personally. So that's really cool. So uh, I'm going to try these with some drumming and see how it sounds. Mr. Doublelina, Mr. Bob Doublelina, Mr. Doublelina, Mr. Bob Tried, <laughs> tried to um, time this one to a slow tempo. Um, and of course. <laughs> That was that one.